Coach, even just a lot of ups and downs, uh, injuries, uh, a lot of merry moments, um, but also a lot of fun being with this team. Um, it's never a dull moment with us. Um, always, everybody's always in a good mood, even when we lose sometimes. People are still uplifting and things like that. So this, this year has been uh, great for me. Trevor, when you went through the tournament last year, and now that you've gone through this experience with the playoffs, do you take anything away from that that you that kind of helped you from the playoff experience? Uh, yeah, just I mean, understanding that it's winter going home right now. Every um, mistake can cost you a game. Uh, last year, like me missing a rebound, cost us uh, a chance to win a game. Um, so me just knowing that, uh, learning from that experience last year and moving on to this year. Uh, so I'm on the floor, every box out, every rebound, every block, I'm trying to get out make sure. I'm back in my head, I know it's very important. What, what surprised you last year? Well, when you first played in, in a championship series like this, and then this year, like this year. <coughs> yeah, what surprised you so far? Last year? This year, I'm sorry. Um, uh, in the playoff basketball. I think how fun it is. Um, I know NBA is a very long season, 18 games. Um, so playing the same people, you get lost in the moment. Um, a lot of information being thrown at you, different scout reports, things like that. In the playoffs, it's so much funner because like you know you have to play for at least uh, four games, maybe seven. Um, so you're just locked in on those one, those one team. So you know they're. It's more like a. It's, it's like a challenging thing for yourself. You know you gotta watch film and try to pick up all those things because you know you're going to see them exactly yeah. the next game. So to me, that was a fun part, trying to take away things from the game before and trying to put them into the game. You've played a lot, Jordan, in the two Cleveland games, I believe. What do you expect your role to be here? Uh, same role. I've always had to start playing basketball. Uh, rebound, block shots, defend. Um, offensively, just be there to finish um, when need be. Uh, if you try to be a playmaker, you're going to face all my guys and open shots. Have they told you whether you're going to start or you're not? Not in time. They never do? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> How much throughout the season and even in this playoff, Obviously, with Andre when he's hurt, how much do you kind of lean on him and talk to him a lot? Uh, I talked to Andre a lot, especially last year, just because him just being such a great defender. Um, it was times where um, I was getting scored on uh, pretty easily, so I would talk to him and let him ask him a question, like something I can do with my feet, my hands, get closer, get further, something like that. And he helped me out a lot, uh, especially um, last game in the third quarter. Um, they were really attacking me in the first half, so I knew in the second half they were going to come back at me, so I was talking to him at halftime in the third quarter, and I think he really helped me out a lot. When you've kind of kept up with the other playoff series at all, I mean, is it, you can even kind of scratch your head, it's kind of friendly, be hard at this point to even be surprised at what LeBron does, but seeing what he's done this year, is it even kind of uh, open your eyes even more? No, I mean, people keep trying to downplay, like, the teammates he has, like Steph said, like, they're all in the NBA, uh, they're all great players, like, Rodney Hill's having 15 points before he came to, uh, so it's not like there are any bad players on that team. Um, obviously not the roster we have or some other teams we might have, but they're still really good players. So um, I think what he's doing is just great. But, I mean, he's, to me, he's been a great all-star player. So I think this year is going to be different. Is it a bit surreal?